how to embed a survey in MailChimp. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use Typeform or any type of survey uh, right there like SurveyMonkey, uh, right there or uh, other platforms to integrate or embed a survey into your MailChimp email. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. Here in this video, I'm going to use three platforms. So keep them in mind. We're going to use MailChimp. We are going to use Typeform and we are going to use CodePen.io. So both or three of the platforms right there are going to necessarily have a uh, account on them. So you need to sign in or sign up for an account for each one of the accounts. So now we are going to click on login on our MailChimp and open up right there our dashboard. So basically I have here an account. Now, what we're we going to do is to head over the campaign and make sure that we have already created a campaign. So I'm not going to waste time by creating a campaign, but we are going to see here some emails. Uh, here I'm going to see if we have an email. This is a landing page regular email. So we are going to select this one, for example. And what are we going to do here is to uh, modify or design the email or the content. You can go ahead and have a survey into your email or right there. I'm going to select one of the emails, start the trial. So I'm going to apply this. I'm going to uh, start from scratch. So let's say here that we have a header or a heading, for example, welcome to your, uh, our world, for example. And you can add some other or their images like that. I can go ahead and add an image, browse images. Let's see here if we have some images. Um, maybe we are going to have this. This is, I think, much simpler image. Now we can go and add, as you can see, or you want to see a survey from MailChimp. You can go ahead and create a survey but this survey is going to have the button here to start it is not going to give you here the embedded solution so you need to click on start survey to be able to redirect you to another page that you're going to continue or start your survey in and record the results and this is a limited let's say here process now we are going to embed at least the first question of our survey, and then we can go ahead and incite the people to continue. Why maybe you are going to ask, uh, we are going to put only the one or only one question or only one survey um, setup, because it is going to be crucial to not waste time of the clients into the email. So they are not going to waste time onto their email inboxes. And why also it should be one just a uh, question because it is not going to fill up all the email and also it is not going to be limiting people. So the email is going to be here only for demonstration. So we're going to delete that button. And now we are going to head over type form we're going to create here any type of survey you can create a new form survey or see that we have here some surveys. As you can see, we are going to set up the customer's preferences survey. For example, I have this survey already, so I'm going to check it. So basically we are going to check the questions, the answers and etc. Here, as you can see, we have the questions. This is the first, this is the second, this is the third and the fourth. Now, I highly recommend for you to set up the surveys right there without an image or without a video, uh, especially the first one. I meant here the first one. We need only the first one, so we are going to put it like this. Now, here we have a blank one for the second, third, and the fourth one, or whatever uh, uh, pages that you have. It is going to be here. Um, not very uh, necessary to set up uh, here, not a image or a video, but I'm going to click on publish. 
now we need to share the um, here as you can see the survey as an embed to our form we can get the setup the integration whether for MailChimp and etc but it is not going to be as effective as our method so we are going to click on share on embed right there and we are going to have the uh let's say here we're going to have this is not what i wanted to do but so basically it was here i'm going to let you see uh, we have uh, the um, survey we have the share button here we have share the link we have embedding in an email or embedding a web page so in a web page it will give us the iframe but in an email it is going to be here giving us code so i'm going basically here to the start embedding we're going to click on copy the code it is a big code here i have here pasted the code that we have and you can see that it is going to be a big or, or a very heavy code now i have pasted the code right there to see that it is fully extended here and everything works well so basically here we have the code so now what are we going to do is to set up the email now we have here this code we are going to copy it we are going to head over the uh, uh, mailchimp email and then we are going to see here or search for code as you can see on the uh, builder we are going to uh, here drag and drop the code right there we are going to delete basically any type or kind of code that we have already make sure that it is set up html we're going to paste our code here so basically you are going to see the same preview of the uh, weather test so now we are going to send a test like that i'm going to uh, send it here or we can go ahead and preview it so whenever we are going to click on the uh, right there, the first or the, uh, as you can see here, the template for that code, which is this, I'm going to let you review it again. You are going to click on any one of the cases. It will take you directly to the type form. So this is the first one, which is what is your preferred method of contact? For example, email. Here you are going to get some uh more options or there are um, surveys you're going to see the progression bar or there at the top and here we have it this is the mobile version and this is the inbox version so you're going to get it right there by here so basically that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one